In a previous video, you learned how to find the points of intersection without using a calculator. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to find all points of intersection of two graphs using the graphing calculator. There are again several steps that we're going to follow. There are seven of them. I am going to use the example of the two graphs, y equals x squared minus 3x minus 5 and then y equals 2 minus x. It's a parabola and a line. And I'm going to go through the steps on my graphing calculator. All right, here we go. All right, the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and type both equations in. You'll notice my first one is already in from a previous video. And then I can just press my arrow down key to get me to my second equation, which is 2 minus x. And then we can go ahead and graph it. And you notice when we graph it, we do get a parabola and a line. And we'd like to find both places where the two equations intersect. So to get the point of intersection, we're going to go up to calc again, which is second trace. And this time I'm going to pick intersect, which is option five. So I can either arrow down to the five or just press in five. There we go. And then it's going to give me the question first curve question mark. I'm going to use my arrow. I'm going to find that left intersection point first. I'm just going to get pretty close to that point of intersection and then press enter and then it will ask second curve. I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm still at the, the point of intersection so I'm just going to press enter. It will ask me for a guess. I don't care to take a guess so just press enter one more time. So my point of intersection is negative 1.828 comma 3.828. So that would be the point of intersection and notice when I read that point to you I was accurate to three decimal places. Okay, to get that second intersection point, I'm going to do the same thing. I have to go through the process again. So go to calc, which is second, trace. Again, we want to pick intersect. This time I'll just arrow down there to show you we could do it that way too. Then I'd have to press enter. Oops, I did the wrong feature. Let's just do that again. Let's, okay, so we'll go down to five. Okay, there we go. Press enter. Okay, first curve, question mark. This time I'll just arrow over to where they intersect again. Okay, press enter. Um, I'm going to again do my second curve. Sometimes it's the calculator can be a little funny. If you happen to press enter and it doesn't do anything, just arrow a little bit more and it should work. So let's press enter again. It says guess. Don't want to take a guess, so I'll just press enter. And my second point of intersection is the point 3.828 comma, negative 1.828. So now you should be able to find points of intersection using your calculator.